Hey, boys and girls, Mr. Samosa here. I got a great lesson planned for you today. It's gonna to be so much fun. Now, today we're gonna to make a pie. Last time we made pumpkin pie. And now that we're coming along the holidays, there's another pie that I wanna make. Some call it the American classic, apple pie. So follow along, my friends. I'll show you what the ingredients are. Here's some of our ingredients. We have apples, and I got three different kinds of apples in here. I got Honey Crisp, I got Granny Smith, and I got Sweet Tango, which are those. So three different apples to give us different flavors. We got some brown sugar and some regular sugar. We got some graham cracker crumbs to put on top. Cornstarch, nutmeg, cinnamon, uh, a crust. And then I got this apple core. So we could just cut the apple so we can get all the same size. So we're gonna cook our apple filling cook it for about 20, 30 minutes, and then we'll start, uh, uh, let it cool down for a while, and then we'll start assembling our pie. Hold tight, my friends. All right, my friends, so here we go. We are gonna get started. We have our apples right here. We're gonna go ahead and take off the little stickers. We've already washed the apples too. Give them a nice little rinse, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and slice them and then put them uh, into a bowl and get everything ready for our pie. So let's do that first. We're gonna to wanna to bake the filling first. And the benefits of baking the filling first is that we could store it away for a later usage. And it also helps us make the pie a little bit easier. So we're gonna grab our little apple core and we're gonna place it right here. Oh, but before we get started, make sure that uh, before we do this, we have adult supervision. We have an adult or a grown up nearby. So we're gonna place it right there, line it up in the center and we're just gonna push it down. Now, I also wanted to say that there's many different ways to make apple pie. Uh, sometimes people like to take off the skin of the apple. Um, for my recipe, I'm not going to be taking off the skin. I'm going to leave the skin on. But if you like to take the skin off, it kind of makes it a little bit different, like, like a different texture, you know? So let's go ahead and pop out the core. Go ahead and put our apples into our bowl. And we'll just keep on rolling. We got the next one. Take off the plastic, take off the little sticker. And put the apple down, get the apple core, put it right in the middle. And push down as hard as we can. Ah, here we go. Get that guy out, push him out. And that's how we're gonna go, my friend. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna core the rest of these apples. And then I'll show you what our next what our next um, step okay, is. Okay, my friends, we got our apples all sliced up. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a lemon, and we're gonna squeeze just a little bit on top of our apples, just a little bit. The recipe calls for two tablespoons, so I'm just gonna do. Let's take these seeds out. I'm just gonna do half. Okay, my friends, next thing we gotta do is we gotta combine a couple of things. So we're gonna combine our dry ingredients into a little small dish. We're gonna need a half cup of brown sugar, which is what I got right here. Gonna need half a cup of granulated sugar, which is the regular white sugar. We need a third a cup of cornstarch. We need some cinnamon and some nutmeg. So I'm gonna combine those in the dish with the water and then we'll put it together into a pan. Okay, my friends, quick update. Apples sliced up. Our dry ingredients are all put right here, getting ready to mix whenever we're ready. Right inside here we have half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar, a third a cup of cornstarch, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. And we're gonna throw those into the pan that we got right here that has three cups of water. So we're gonna throw the dry ingredients and mix it in with the wet ingredients right here. Let's put that all right there. And gonna give it a nice little mix to get all that good stuff nice and mixed in. All that cornstarch, all that brown sugar, all that good stuff, mix it up. Once we get all this stuff mixed up, and it's starting to come to like a bit of a simmer or a light boil, then we're gonna throw our apples in. 
So we'll check back soon, my friends. Got a nice boil right here. We're gonna lower the heat a little bit and we're gonna toss our apples inside, all right? We went ahead and we added the apples and we gave them a nice stirring. We're gonna let the apples cook down for like about 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so until they're nice and tender, stirring occasionally. Afterwards, we're gonna let it cool down. This is my first time making a pie. Sometimes things don't always work out the way you, you plan, so you always have to adjust, you know? I know trying new things can be scary, boys and girls, but how are we gonna know if we never give it a shot? So, try our best, see what happens. So here comes a little shot of my delicious apple mixture. We're gonna let it cook down for like another maybe 10 minutes or so. Then we'll cool it down. After it cools down, we could throw it inside of our pie shell, start round two. So I'll tell you what, uh, what round two is when we get there. Boys and girls, it smells so good in here. Apples and cinnamon, nice brown sugar. We're gonna let this cool down for a couple of hours now. And after it's nice and cool, well, first we'll let it cool for about 15 minutes right here, 20, 30 minutes, and then we'll put it into the refrigerator and then we'll let it cool down for a couple of hours. And then once it's cool for a couple of hours, we'll go ahead and throw it inside of our pie crust and then put it back in the oven and um, cook it for a little bit longer. And um, sometimes with apple pie, what they like to do is they'll do something called a lattice, which is like the braid that comes on top with the dough. But since we don't have that extra dough, what we're gonna use is we're gonna be using graham cracker crumbs and we're just gonna crumble it on top, kind of make it like an apple, like a streusel kind of. All right, my friends, follow along. Hey, my friends, you ready to rock and roll? The filling is nice and cool. It's been cooling down in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. Now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees to get it nice and warm. So when our pie is ready to go in, it goes into a nice warm oven. Then we're gonna put our filling that's nice and cooled down into our pie shell. Sprinkle some of the graham cracker crumbles on top and toss it in the oven. Let it bake for like about 25, 20, 30 minutes. It really depends upon how hot your oven gets but you wanna keep an eye on it and even turn it around halfway. Um, like about 15 minutes in, you kind of turn the pie around so that the, the front is now in the back. And the back is now in the front to kind of like get even cooking. And uh, yeah, let's rock and roll, my friends. Time to add our filling into our pie crust. We already got the filling inside the pie. We added a little bit of butter and now we're gonna sprinkle our graham cracker crumbs on top and get it ready for baking. So we'll cover it up like this, and we'll come back. There we go. We got it filled up with the graham cracker crumbs on top. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up our oven and put this pie nice and carefully inside and get it baking for like a 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Now, you know, I couldn't leave without showing you the final product. Here goes this yummy pie. And I know you want to eat it because it smells so good right away, but you have to be patient. You have to wait at least two hours, maybe three hours until it cools down. If you don't wait, what happens is when you cut the pie, the, the, the slice doesn't hold its shape and it kind of falls apart on the plate. So let it cool down for a couple hours and you won't be disappointed. Enjoy. I had a great time with this, boys and girls. Bye-bye.